Hey there guys. So I had a marvelous sleep last night. It was like a total of like four hours because I ended up eating something that was a trigger to my stupid stomach problems and had like mad cramping all night. So I didn't actually get to sleep till like four. Or at like a total of like four, three hours of sleep. And I'm someone who cannot function properly. Well, not getting enough sleep. Like, I don't even know if my eyebrows are on the right way. Like, you can get check those for me. Do those look level? I don't know. My hair is kind of a mess. It was lovely looking, so I stuck it in this hat. I didn't even bother doing anything to it. I even got, like, some wings sticking out in the back from my growing outside cut. But I was feeling kind of lonely and I was in a really talkative mood earlier and was going to make a video earlier, but I ended up talking to my mom since being overtired is like, okay, I'm going to go have some coffee and then hope that the coffee wakes me up and makes me not feel so tired. So then after like the first cup, you're like, okay, I still feel tired. So then you go for that other cup and since... I'm someone who's sensitive to coffee and isn't actually supposed to have coffee at all. I went for the second cup and I'd just been wired as all hell and now my stomach feels like crap. Uh, I think I have like phone separation anxiety because I haven't had my phone in like, I don't know, since Saturday. I actually went to go send it off because I had one of those problems with the first iPhone 5s and it basically kind of the lock button stopped working and at first I was thinking okay I'm just using my phone too much I keep pressing the lock button but no it was actually a problem with the first few iPhones so I have some extended warranty and since the issue that I have with my phone I qualify for getting a new phone so it's actually just getting sent off today because I found out there is no UPS store anywhere near this location, and it's kind of like, I gotta wait for a UPS truck to drive all the way from Vernon, or Penticton, it's like the closest area, and come out all the way to my town in the middle of bum nowhere, <laughs> and just pick up my little package with my phone and they're they're not coming until today so my phone has been just sitting in a box since Saturday and I was kind of lazy and figured maybe it's a good thing to be away from my phone because I don't know if you guys notice it all but being attached to electronics is a common thing these days <laughs> well I don't know if you're someone who's of general user age I guess I don't really know. There's some adults that use their phone a lot, some don't. Some hate cell phones in general, like my mom is just starting getting used to using a phone and it's kind of entertaining because she's just discovering games and stuff. So I'm just kind of sitting in a park, just kind of thought it would be a chill place that would be quiet, but it's just not quiet at all since I'm right next to a highway, well, main road, I consider it a highway because there isn't really that many cars driving on roads around here, uh, but I'll get back to you guys in a few because I kind of feel like reading now since I've calmed down from caffeine sensitivity, but yeah, see you. <laughs> oh, a tip for not having a cell phone? And I completely forgot, and it's something you really need if you have a schedule, is a watch. <laughs> so I'm going to be using my laptop as my watch since I left my watch on my desk. I actually haven't worn a watch in so long that I had to get my mom to, because she has the utensils, to take apart the back of my watch and stick a battery in. So yeah, I just discovered I have no means of time. Aside from my laptop, in that which case I am somewhat screwed if it ends up dying. So 
I'm just going to turn this around. Wait. I honestly feel uncomfortable just because there's people in the park and I kind of want to dance around and do an ODT and I have never done that in public. Well, yeah, public. <laughs> so I'm going to flip this back on when I find a better area, more secluded. Okay, see you. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I found a secluded area that is Okay, let's show you. It's like by water. You guys can see that uh, beautiful British Columbia fall view. Yeah. So, here's another outfit that is just kind of really thrown together really fast. I got ready in like an hour because, I mean, I still want to like look somewhat presentable, I guess. Like, I'm not someone who really likes to look really haggard, even though, like, I say I look haggard because it's not really an, a moment where I took the time to get ready and really think much of what I was putting on, but this is what I'm wearing today. Whoa! That wrong. So, um, jacket. I really liked it. It has like leather outsides and like a little fake leather so it's vegan friendly, animal cruelty free, and, like the button and the pocket, fake pocket detail is a leatherette and it's mint colored and y'all know how much I like mint. I got this from Forever 21. It's a hoodie that I got probably like well, five years ago. It's just like a navy blue hoodie. It's like tight fit. Uh, I'm wearing this really old belt. It's like haggard to shit. It's got like missing studs on it. Missing places, I don't know. Because I've worn it so much and it's like the only studded belt I was able to find that can fit belt buckles and I'm wearing this belt buckle I got from a friend with some like skinny jeans uh, some boot covers that actually came off of a, a pair of boots that my mom got off of the shopping channel that have like interchangeable covers like on the boots right now I have the fur ones on because I really like the fur ones and don't have any fur boots so I got this for Christmas last year from her because I needed some winter boots. Um, I'm just wearing a pair of suede winter thermally. Well, they're not really winter because they don't really keep my feet warm in the winter, so boo. But they are thermal insole lined combat boot styled shoes. <laughs> The places. I actually wore bracelets today. I haven't been wearing bracelets much lately because when I go to class I like to be comfortable so I don't really like having really loud bracelets moving across the table while I'm writing down notes and stuff like that. But I just got my old boobies bracelet. I have like every color of these that I got. A long, 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 long time ago. Or like six years ago, honestly. Uh, spiky bracelet, some ohm symbol, adjustable bracelets, and asking Alexandria the span that says I like to party. Kind of. I don't know, I don't really party very much unless it's with people I know, honestly. Uh, uh, on this side, another one of those adjustable bracelets. Some Halloween bracelet. Uh, I pooped today bracelet. My pride bracelet that I've worn a lot because you gotta have some pride in yourself. I mean, how else do you have confidence if you have no little bit of self pride? Too much pride 
can be very dangerous to your persona. <laughs> uh, laugh, of course. It's good for you. Apparently it works your abs. I don't know the logic behind that because right now I don't really have much abs, but then again, I don't know, I laugh a lot. Maybe it's just because I'm an awkward person, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just wearing uh, my uh, pentagram necklace, my favorite necklace that I recreated, that I got from Avon a long ass time ago. My scorpion necklace that I made, and my Canadian. Because I'm Canadian, and I'm wearing this wolfy shirt that I got from eBay from a random seller. Whenever I buy stuff off eBay, I normally refer to it as a random seller because half the time when you buy stuff on eBay, the sellers disappear <laughs> very quickly. I'm not sure why, but I kind of think it's because they'll get some bad feedback and decide to make a new account or something. So they can get their credibility back because they might have had an error in shipping, especially when it's shipping from like international countries. I've noticed at least they'll disappear, especially when they're scammers at the same time too and don't want to deal with having to refund a whole bunch of people. Ah, I get ripped off on eBay so many times. So much that I stopped shopping on eBay for such a long time. But this was a shirt that I was like, oh, that's so killer. I have to get it because I like it. <laughs> Why else would I buy it? So, casual, casual outfit. That's about it for now. Uh, I gotta go to class soon, so I'm gonna turn this off and start walking. I think for the next few days, this will be my best friend that I talk to since I'm used to texting all the time and I'm always texting people just casual conversation wise. And this, little, this will at least give me some <laughs> I don't know, time to like talk to you guys since I know I neglect you sometimes. Like I left for a really long time due to busy life. And, I mean, I do get time in between. Like I have made past videos on my phone before, but it just never, the videos, half of them never made their way onto my computer for putting into a really fast iMovie video. But I got some new video software that I'm going to fart around with. Uh, oh, I got this new ring too. It's actually a real metal that won't make my finger green, like this one. That's why I always wear this one, because I hate those fashion rings that make your fingers green. It's like, oh, my ring is so awesome. Like, people will call me and just, oh, your ring is so awesome, thanks! funny how you haven't noticed my green finger behind it but <laughs> that's what fashion jewelry tends to do it like looks nice for a total of like a few hours until you get kind of sweaty hands or you've just been wearing it all day like probably over like 12 hours or so and then your finger just goes completely green so I've grown accustomed to wearing like acrylic -y jewelry when I'm just casually going about my day since I can wash my hands with acrylic jewelry. It's like acrylic's plastic for those of you who are unaware of what acrylic is. And plastic jewelry gets really far in life when you got a hectic, like, sort of lifestyle, I guess. And like, I painted my nails recently. Like, I like to actually sit down and paint my nails nicely, but it's so difficult when like the nail polish stays on nicely without chipping for about a day. Like, it's already chipped. And I just did these last night. <laughs> Is that or I'm getting really shitty nail polish, but I don't think that's the case since I've used most types of nail polish and it does the same thing. I'm just 
someone who's not used to having their nails all upwards when doing stuff and delicately doing things with their hands. I'm someone that likes to shove stuff in places and like be fast, I guess. If you guys get my feels. I don't know if the lighting is horrible, but really, I don't care because from what I can see on this horrible screen view because it's getting drowned out by light is these beautiful trees in the background surrounding my head kind of like it's like forming around my head I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna go now so have a good one toodles I'll be back comment thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't if you like brief videos like this, I can continue to make them. If not, that's cool too. I do enjoy your feedback. Halloween video will be on its way shortly. If I can't make it tomorrow, I'll go for Friday afternoon. Bam, 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 bam. Dramatic ending music. Do, 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 do.